Hours after the jury returned its verdict, family members of the victims and survivors reacted to the verdict. Jennifer Barreso joins us from Squirrel Hill with more on that now. Jen. Ken, so many people have been so profoundly affected. There is no closure, but there's a sense of relief moving on to the next chapter of the healing process. It doesn't bring deep comfort, but we hope, I hope, that this brings a measure of peace, peace of mind. One by one, survivors and family members of the 11 worshipers killed in the 2018 Pittsburgh synagogue shooting attack in Squirrel Hill reacted to the jury's decision to sentence Robert Bowers to death. Lee Stein lost her dad. And a piece of my heart will forever be gone. Finally, justice has been served. And even though nothing will bring my dad back, I feel like a weight has been lifted and I can breathe a sigh of relief. Worshipper Andrea Wedner was wounded. Her 97-year-old mother, Rose Malinger, killed. May we always remember those who were taken too soon. Joyce Feinberg, Richard Gottfried, Jerry Rabinowitz, Cecil and David Rosenthal, Daniel Stein, Bernice and Sylvan Simon, Irving Younger, Mel Wax, and Rose Malinger. May their memories be for a blessing. We heard from Rabbi Jeffrey Myers, who was among those who survived that horrific day. So today, we're embraced by the love not only of the judicial system, but of all the helpers around the world who've reached out to all of us within seconds of the verdict to once again uplift us and hold us together. Audrey Glickman hid in a storage area beneath a prayer shawl, perhaps signaling the jury's verdict, the most extreme and severe punishment was appropriate. Had we not had this trial, the deeds of this criminal would have been glossed over in the annals of history. The purpose of the death penalty is not so much punishing as cutting off the person from society, eliminating the evil, taking away the risk, the potential for infection, and the possibility of further harm to the citizens. Others sending a message that anti-Semitism won't be tolerated. Sending a signal in the strongest possible terms that anti-Semitism and hate have no place in our hearts, no place in our communities, no place in our country. A tremendous effect on those survivors can reflecting on the precious uh, day of everyday life in this dangerous world. Reporting live in Squirrel Hill, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.